Hi guys, uh, my name is Mike and welcome to this Real Clever tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to create a cinematic look in Final Cut Pro. Now there's plenty of ways that this can be achieved and there's lots of third party plugins out there that will give you a similar effect. But I'm just going to be using the default tools that we have in Final Cut Pro. Now let's take a look at our original clip over here in the viewer. Um, you can see it's quite dark, it's got a sort of video look about it, um, everything's quite sharp. If we take a look at the clip that I've applied the effect to, um, it's got a bit of a softer tone about it. There's a little bit of a light spill sort of happening in here between uh, the character's cheek and the hair, and it just gives a nice sort of warmer tone, a warmer glow. Um, this particular scene is meant to be shot at night, just lit by the moon, so I think that the effect works pretty well. Right, let's see how we did this. First step is to take our original clip copy it, then paste. Now we're going to grab it and we're going to put it on top of the other clip. So we've got two identical clips, one on top of each other. Now the next step is make sure that this top clip is uh, selected, double click on it, bring it into the viewer. Then we're going to click modify, come down to composite mode. Um, these are basically a whole bunch of different effects that affect the compositing of one clip on top of another. You don't really have to worry about what they do, they just look kind of cool. And uh, give a few a shot and see what they do. But the one we're after is add. So we're going to click on that. Now already you can see quite a big difference um, from here to here. What, what add does is it sort of brings up the highlights um, of the clip, the brighter bits and leaves the darks and the mids sort of where they are and um, filters them out so that we're just going to be working with the highlights. So this is looking pretty good, but we've got a few more things we need to do yet. We're going to click on effects, go down to video filters, and blur. We're going to use a Gaussian blur. Now, we want to beef that blur up a little bit. Um, how high you go is purely on what kind of des desired effect you're after. I usually keep it somewhere around 9, 9 or 10. Um, and what that does is it blurs these highlights that were selected by the add composite mode and uh, creates a nice sort of glow effect and um, sort of light tends to start spilling into dark bits and creates a bit more of a cinematic tone. Um, now this looks quite intense, what you can do, and what is quite handy sometimes, is you can control how much of the effect is applied by um, reducing the opacity of the top clip. So usually I keep it around 75, and it just brings it down a wee bit more. So I'm just going to render this now, and we can see what it looks like. Yeah, it does take a little bit of time to render, um, but the results are definitely worth it. So, here we go. That's quite a difference compared to our original clip. 